what's good it is your boy nice and welcome to the fight room post fight charlo versus harrison and charlo regains his wbc super welterweight title stopping tony harrison in the 11th round and it was a good fight i said that it was going to be better than the first one and sure enough it was now let me break this thing down here now tony was the champion coming into this fight and he was the underdog now from the beginning of the bout he was doing what he had to do he was controlling the fight from the beginning he got caught in the third round got dropped got back up and continued doing his thing keeping charlo at bay and doing what he had to do and putting pressure on him and sure enough he was controlling the whole fight now charlo came in more aggressive than the first bout now we see that the second bout charlo was being more aggressive and we all seen that he was still losing the fight tony was doing his thing putting combinations together he was doing amazing with the body work with the left hand to the body and moving and keeping himself away from Charlo. Now we know that Charlo is a great athlete. He's a better athlete than Tony Harrison. Tony Harrison is a good fighter, but not an athletic fighter like Charlo. Charlo cannot adapt to certain fighters. And we seen that in this fight. He had a problem all night with staying away from Tony's jab. Just like the first fight. He couldn't get around Tony's jab. And pretty much brung in. Pretty much brung in the same fight. But just be more aggressive. And didn't have sort of like a game plan to get around that jab and put some type of combinations together and take him out of there earlier congratulations to charlo by the way of course for winning the bout and regaining the wbc welterweight title stopping him he did great stopping him my hat's off to charlo for that but what i'm saying is he didn't have a great game plan to get around that jab and couldn't stop tony from throwing that left jab to the body and just couldn't find him he couldn't adapt to him charlo is a good athlete but just doesn't know how to adapt to certain fighters and we seen it here tony good fighter i hope he picks himself back up and continues to fight because honestly man he's a good competitor great contender for the super water week division and i want to see him fight and continue fighting and fighting even great fighters because he's a good fighter and he deserves to fight the best fighters my hat tips off to him for bringing that fight he brung it but he got caught and i said that it could have backfired on him all that cockiness and sure enough that's what happened here he got cocky he thought he was the man he was winning the bout he knew he was winning the bout he knew that charlo couldn't catch him he fell asleep and when you fall asleep with all the cockiness, what happens? The fall comes. We all seen that with Adrian Broner. Too much cockiness, you come in the ring, you bring that cockiness, you wanna show off, you get hit, and you don't like the, you don't wanna see people see you get hit like that. So instead of you paying attention to the fight, you're worried about, damn, they saw me get hit with this crazy hit. And you're embarrassed, I get that. But that's what it, that's why being focused is very important bringing your mental aspect of boxing to the ring and make sure you stay focused tony fell short in that area come the 11th round slept and got dropped couldn't get up well got up excuse me got up but couldn't recoup his his equilibrium was messed up his legs wasn't there and sure enough he got stopped he didn't have it in him his legs was not under him and sure enough he fell short and lost but a good fight overall after the bout tony went up to charlo and his team shook their hands 
And it seems like the beef is squashed for now. Because we might just see a third one. Does anybody want to see a third one? Third one might be even a better bout. I was thinking about maybe, you know, the th a third bout wouldn't be considerable. But I consider it now. I was thinking about it. And, you know, Tony deserves it, man. You know, hopefully if they do make a third bout, he humbles himself, comes in humbly, stays focused, and maybe in the third bout, he can pull it off. Just maybe. Because, honestly, I don't think that Charlo could even adapt to his jab, man. He really can't seem to get around it. Tony brings that game again and stays focused throughout the bout. He can... To me, he would be able to regain that title. To me, my opinion, you know, um, I like the Charlos. I have nothing against the Charlos. They're great fighters, but they need to, you know, they need to step their game up. Of course, Charlo stepped his game up last Saturday, fought the champion as he should have. But his his overall performance, excuse me, wasn't that great. You know, he was more aggressive, but didn't bring anything to the table differently to maneuver and get around Tony. Now, what's next for Charlo? Could it be Lubin? Lubin's been doing good. He's fought Ishe Smith, stopped Ishe Smith. He had a last bout. I forgot the guy's name, but he stopped him. Uh, could be a future fight. Hopefully, they can do that. Hopefully, Lubin would be set and ready for that fight. And can, you know, pull off a better bout than the first one. You know, it was nothing. The first bout, the first bout excuse me, was sad. Like, uh, I expected more of that fight. And it was just a, a sad fight. The first fight, it didn't live up to the name. Hopefully, Lubin could pull himself together and get himself ready and tuned to get ready to fight Charlo. And he can hopefully call him out and make that bout happen for this year coming up. Who knows? You already know. It is your boy Nice. Comment, like, subscribe, and don't forget, share the fight room.